All right, so where's my tissue? Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, can anybody believe that this is the very, very last weekend of Clone Wars Season 7? I mean, it seems like we were waiting for it for months, like maybe over a year. And now that it's here, it's just gone by like really fast. Today we're reviewing episode 11 of season 7. So it's 7 11. Yeah. This one is shattered, and that is pretty appropriate. Uh, wow. In short, they've got Maul, they leave Mandalore, headed for the Jedi Council, eater cut with stuff going on in episode 3. And then all of a sudden, the Poodoo hits the fan, and it's Execute Order 66, and it's like, oh, it's, I knew it was coming, I didn't want it to happen, and I may close the window because that, the lawn mowing is really annoying. Uh, Order 66 has been executed, and I did not think Rex was going to go after Ahsoka right away because he said in Rebels that he and Gregor, maybe Wolf, had taken out their uh, inhibitor chips. So... Is Rex getting senile? Because he's not the one that ended up taking... Hello. Uh, because he's not the one that ended up taking out his inhibitor chip. Ahsoka did. So I'm wondering <clears throat> if he forgot, because otherwise that's a that is a clash with the currently established canon in Rebels. But yeah, okay. And I have to say the tension in this episode was absolutely unbearable, because you know what's happening, and it's like, oh no, I don't want this. I don't want this. Do not want. But it sort of has to happen. Um, luckily, this did not shatter me as much as I'd feared, although I did definitely tear up a little bit. I wasn't sobbing, but yeah, it, it definitely made me sad. <sighs> My favorite character in this episode was once again Ahsoka, although I really like Rex too, and it's like, ugh. It was a relief after they got his chip out. My favorite parts in here was the little mini cameo of Ursa Red. Yay! We get to see it, uh, Sabine's mom when she was young. That was, that was fun. Um, that containment box that they came up with for Maul, apparently they were outlawed and that was the only one left. Um, and of course, the nod to Rogue One when Ahsoka was trying to, I guess, connect or connect with or heal Rex when she was going, I am one with the Force and the Force is with me. It was a little bit unnerving when he sat up with the blasters, but he ended up shooting the other two clones to save Ahsoka. I, I, I kind of saw that coming because Rex and Ahsoka were like that. They're like best buddies. So, my favorite lines in this... Uh, my favorite line in this episode was definitely spoken by bo -Katan, saying, I wish I was good at something besides war. I can, you know, when you've been fighting your whole life, you just get tired of it. I can understand that to some extent, not in the, like, warfare soldier end of it. But when there is constant conflict in your life, you just want it to end, and I can relate to that because there's been a lot of conflict in my personal life. Another part I liked was the uh, involvement of the droids. There was definitely a CP unit in there that looked a lot like Chopper and had a similar blah, 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 voice. So that was nice to see. I'm kind of wondering, does that end up being Chopper? Because he went blah, 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 blah. But yeah, that was, that was also good. Okay, so moving on to the scoring. Um, this was not as good as the last episode, but it was still darn good. Uh, story gets a 9 out of 10. We could see it coming, and there wasn't really a lot of room for surprises. Animation was another 10 out of 10. It was just flawless, absolutely flawless. Voice acting, 10 out of 10. We got to hear a lot more voice actors here. Even though it was for a little while, I'm glad Tom Kane came back as Yoda, and... 
of course, D. Bradley Baker and Ashley Eckstein and Sam Witwer just blew everything completely out of the water. So that's another 10 out of 10. Sound mix was the lowest point for the simple reason that the mix was not as good as it has been. The music at one point drowned out Maul's ominous whispers. Maybe it's just my ears, but I couldn't hear him talking at one point. I couldn't understand all of his dialogue, so that drops the sound mix to 8.5 out of 10. The best part about the sound was all that episode 3 music getting stuck in there. That was good. Uh, characters, 9 out of 10. The highlight of this episode was definitely the friendship between Ahsoka and Rex and the lengths that Ahsoka was willing to go through to save her friend. Although, the reaction to it was not as, maybe not as emotional as I thought it was going to be. She was pretty darn stoic. It was like she sort of shoved her emotions to the back burner. Um, I wasn't expecting that, and to be honest, that was a little bit disappointing. So, characters, 9 out of 10. That gives episode 11, Shattered, a score of 9.3 out of 10. Not as good as the last one, but still darn good. So, wow. The season and series finale for Clone Wars, the official one, uh, is coming up on May the 4th, Monday. There's going to be so much going on this Monday, it's going to be one busy, busy day, at least for Star Wars fans. Yikes. I don't know if next week is going to be more emotional than this week. I have no idea. So... I'll see everybody again on Monday. Wow, okay, we got a whole weekend. Uh, thanks for watching. If you want to see more family-friendly, positive Star Wars content, go ahead and click that little subscription button down below. And, excuse me, don't forget to check out the links in the description box. Question of the day. Which part of this episode was your favorite? Which Easter egg did you enjoy the most? Go ahead and post a comment. So, yes, I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend, and until Monday, God bless, and may the Force be with you. Wow. You don't want to spread negativity. You want to subscribe and click notifications.